All right, so I am back again with another video. Um, in my previous video, I just uploaded something about a G.I. Joe from the space race. Uh, during the 60s, there was also another type of, uh, you know, really cool, heroic, and, you know, American culture type of thing, and that was the spy. So what we have here is what looks like a simple Mattel snapshot. So it's by Mattel. It looks like some little toy. I don't know, maybe it's a fake camera or something like that. But if we look at the details, it's the Agent Zero M. Uh, if you look on YouTube, you'll find some pretty cool commercials from the 60s about this. And this is the Snap Shot. Not the Snapshot, but the Snap Shot. And the copyright is 1964. And this was back made in the USA with a US patent pending. So, what do spies do? Well, they usually conceal things, like a weapon. So what this is, it's a cap gun. So. You pull this out, uh, for those of you who might be younger viewers, you would actually have these rolls of red paper and little tiny black dots on them. And they were actually little tiny amounts of gunpowder. And you'd roll it up and you'd feed it up into the gun system. And then what you would do is you'd pull the button and you can hear it. A little hammer would strike each of those gunpowder dots and they would make a pop noise that sounded like a gun. Uh, today, I don't think that would fly very well. But this is an ongoing series about a bunch of toys that were spy gear and gadgets and it was some cool stuff. It's definitely worth looking at from a cultural perspective. Um, do we equip kids with, you know, things that look like guns and send them around? Not so much. But this is just a really, really cool thing that I found fascinating. Uh, my parents tend to collect a lot of stuff from yard sales, and I think they found this from somebody who, uh, you know, was just getting rid of their old childhood toys. So I'm going to very gently try to put this back together. I mean... You know, this is a copyright of, what, 1964? So, this thing has some years. Uh, it's over 50 years old. And this piece of plastic with some springs in it is still running strong. So I'll give you another couple examples of it popping out. And it needs a little bit of encouragement there, but it pops in, locks into place. And it would make a loud popping sound, almost like an actual bullet being fired. All right. Let me see if I can do it one more time. I'm feeling good that it's going to pop out fully. No, of course not. There we go. Cool. So, yeah, this is a really, really cool little toy. Um, anybody who may have experienced this toy as a child, uh, you know, share some comments in the bottom because, again, I really think this is a cool item. All right. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Happy holidays. And if I come across anything else while I'm visiting my parents in Florida, I probably will. Uh, I'll be sure to share them with you. All right. Happy holidays and happy new year.